Hi guys, this is Alex from Trade Made Sports and Odds Hero and welcome to video 6 in our series of people who got rich from sports betting. Today I'm going to be talking about Edward Thorpe. Although he doesn't fit the theme of a sports better, it would be rude not to include Thorpe as he is widely known as a betting pioneer. Thorpe was made famous through his book Beat the Dealer, where he brought the term of card counting to light. His book was released in 1962 selling over 700,000 copies and making it onto the New York Times bestsellers list. But before I go through the life of Ed, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get a notification every time we post a video in our series. It is a scam when you don't allow everyone to operate on fair terms. We are the Roman Hoods of sports betting. We take something back from the rich bookies and enable our customers to beat them instead. With his father involved in World War II and his mother working very hard to make ends meet, Thorpe found himself very alone throughout a lot of his childhood. Unlike a lot of children, it didn't lead to Thorpe acting out or getting into lots of trouble. It actually had the opposite effect. Spending time playing chess, reading books and attempting to fly using large balloons. His love of science brought him to university where he would study both mathematics and physics, earning a doctorate in both fields. Throughout his spare time at university, Ed began reading statistical journals on blackjack strategy and observing various games. After a trip to Vegas, Thorpe left convinced that he had a strategy that could beat the system. His main two tools were an old school IBM computer and also the Kelly Criterion, which calculates the ideal size of wages. And it's exactly what the Trademate Sports Value Betting software also uses. He created a card counting system that centred on one deck of cards, but nowadays his system is largely ineffective as casinos use multiple decks of cards. Nonetheless, to summarise his system, he basically removed the house's edge by placing larger wages on times when he had a greater chance of a valuable hand. As he had counted the cards since the fresh deck had been dealt, he was able to know when he had a hand which would be more likely to be valuable. This might sound confusing and hard to implement for some, but for a genius mathematician, it wasn't. After receiving financial backing, Thorpe headed to Nevada with his system, and after plenty of early success, he was starting to attract unwanted attention, especially after the release of his book. In his latest book, A Man of All Markets, he revealed some of the crazy experiences he had at the table. Here is a quick excerpt. I was sitting at a Baccarat table and they offered me coffee with cream and sugar. I drank the coffee and before long my pupils dilated and I could no longer count the cards. On the fourth night they offered me coffee again. I put just one drop on my tongue and it tasted like baking soda. What could one drop do? I thought. It was enough to take me out again. They kicked out my two team members who were told not to come back. On our final night, we went to a different casino, the Sands, where I set the win rate at $1,000 an hour. After two and a half hours, they came in with a gigantic security guard and told us to leave. As I drove home the next day, my accelerator pedal locked to the floor and the brake wouldn't control the car. We got up to about 80 miles per hour. I downshifted to the first gear, turned off the key, pushed hard on the brake and set the emergency brake all of which slowed down the car. We pulled over and popped the hood when somebody came by who knew a lot about cars. He looked at the accelerator linkage and said that it had been changed in a way he'd never seen before. Crazy stuff. With his card counting opportunities limited, Thorpe spent time as a technological inventor too. Thorpe created a device that would change the roulette game forever. He believed that through the use of Newtonian physics that he could calculate the speed of a roulette ball to predict where it would land. So the device would actually sit inside the shoe of the player and it would radio transmit signals to the person who was playing into their ear, basically telling them where they think the ball was most likely to land. Genius stuff. After the success of Beat the Dealer and his roulette device, Thorpe wondered whether his methods at the casinos could be transferred to giving him an edge in the stock market. Funny enough they could, making a 15.1% return on his hedge fund over 19 years 
and his personal investments yielded a 20% average return over 28 and a half years. He believed that betting and investing actually shared a lot of the same traits and that if you could figure out the probability of an outcome and then adjust the size of your bet accordingly, then you can be very successful. Thorpe has even mixed with the likes of Warren Buffett, where he gained a lot of information surrounding long-term compounding. Overall, his personal net worth sits at around $800 million from both card counting and investing in the stock market. Now, if you want to implement some of the methods that Thorpe has implemented over his time, whether that be making plus expected value plays or using the Kelly criterion, then make sure you do a week trial with the TradeMate Sports value betting software. It won't make you $800 million, but it will be sure to help you beat the bookmakers. And that completes my video on Edward Thorpe. Please make sure once again that you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. See you next time.